In April 2025, the Perseverance rover on Mars captured a faint streak of green light rising just above the planet's horizon. At first glance, it looked like nothing more than a smudge, another background star, perhaps, or a cosmic ray flash on the camera sensor. But when mission analysts compared its position with orbital data, they realized it wasn't an artifact at all. It was 3I slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever recorded. For scientists, that single frame was historic. Never before had a camera on another world photographed an object from beyond the solar system. The discovery was subtle, even quiet, but it set off a wave of excitement across planetary science circles. A rover on Mars, nearly 300 million kilometers from Earth, had just joined a global network of telescopes tracking a piece of another star system. The more astronomers studied 3I Atlas, the stranger it appeared. Its orbit was unmistakably interstellar, hyperbolic, and unbound. Its brightness changed erratically, flaring and fading without a clear rhythm. Its spectrum showed intense carbon dioxide emission, but almost no water vapor a signature utterly unlike comets born around our sun. And its glow wasn't constant. Some nights it appeared green, on others reddish white. That inconsistency suggested that the surface was made of several distinct materials, each reacting differently to sunlight. When NASA released the first processed Mars images, public attention exploded. Forums, podcasts, and social media feeds lit up with speculation. What was this thing? Why did it behave so unpredictably? And why, for brief stretches, did observatories around the world seem to stop reporting updates? Behind the scenes, the reasons were simple. Every telescope and spacecraft that could see 3I Atlas was operating near its limits. During late April, the comet's apparent position placed it close to the Sun from Earth's perspective. Ground-based telescopes had to pause observations during daylight overlap, while space-based instruments, like the James Webb Space Telescope, entered scheduled protective safe modes to avoid stray sunlight. The gaps were normal. The timing just happened to coincide with the object's closest approach but the absence of new images gave the story momentum. In that silence, imagination rushed in. Online, claims surfaced that new photos had revealed something extraordinary. Some said, proof of what scientists feared all along. In reality, what researchers feared wasn't the object itself, but the possibility of misinterpretation, that data gaps would breed myths faster than facts could catch up. When the next batch of images arrived from Webb and the Very Large Telescope in Chile, the picture became clearer. 3I Atlas was undergoing another flare, its brightness increasing by nearly 70% over just a few days. Webb's infrared instruments detected a surge in carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide gas, confirming that volatile material buried beneath the surface was venting into space. The green glow captured by Perseverance came from diatomic carbon molecules fluorescing under ultraviolet sunlight, a process well known in comets, but rarely this intense. At the same time, Hubble recorded something new, a faint anti-tail, a stream of dust pointing toward the sun instead of away from it. Normally, solar radiation pressure pushes debris outward, but geometry and spin can occasionally make tails appear reversed. Computer models suggested that 3I Atlas's jets were firing from its leading hemisphere, sending particles forward as it tumbled. This outgassing was anything but gentle. Each jet acted like a thruster, slightly changing the object's rotation rate. Light curve analysis from multiple observatories showed its day length shifting from about 11 hours to 14, then back again. 
the same mechanism likely caused the unpredictable flashes that first drew attention. As the data accumulated, a consensus began to form. 3i Atlas was neither alien nor artificial. It was a natural but extreme product of stellar physics. Spectroscopy revealed strong nickel lines without corresponding iron lines, evidence that its metals had been selectively heated, probably during a close pass near its parent star, before ejection. That means the object may once have orbited within a few million kilometers of another sun, hot enough to vaporize iron but leave nickel compounds trapped inside its crust. When that star system's gravity flung it into interstellar space, the object cooled rapidly, sealing those metals beneath layers of carbon-rich dust. For millions of years, it drifted silently between stars, its surface battered by radiation, until the sun's gravity caught it for a brief visit. The new photos that caused so much debate were, in truth, data composites high-contrast enhancements combining multiple exposures from Webb, Hubble, and Mars orbiters. They revealed subtle color differences across the coma, green at the core, red along the periphery. Dr. May Watanabe, a planetary spectroscopist at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, explained it succinctly. These colors are fingerprints of molecules, Green comes from excited carbon, red from nitrogen and oxygen compounds fluorescing in sunlight. When we stretch the image contrast to see faint features, the human brain turns them into patterns. It's the same reason people see faces in rock formations or buildings on Mars. Meanwhile, the brightness surge continued. 3i Atlas was venting more gas than models predicted for an object of its size. The outbursts were so strong that they changed its trajectory by measurable amounts, just as outgassing from 2017's Oumuamua caused slight unexplained acceleration. The difference here was that 3i Atlas's activity was visible and quantifiable offering scientists a chance to watch interstellar chemistry in action. Still, not everyone was satisfied. Some enthusiasts insisted the energy curve was too precise to be random. Others pointed to radio quiet intervals in the deep space network and claimed suppression. In reality, those pauses were caused by routine antenna calibration as NASA's 70-meter dishes shifted between missions. But by the time clarification arrived, the narrative had already taken flight. Inside research centers, the focus remained purely scientific. The European Southern Observatory, Gemini South, and the Kalar Alto Polarimetric Facility coordinated a global campaign to measure the object's light polarization. Polarization reveals the texture and composition of dust grains, how rough or smooth, metallic or carbonaceous they are. The results were stunning. 3i Atlas reflected light more strongly than any comet previously measured, suggesting a surface coated with coarse, irregular particles rather than fine powder. That kind of texture would make it shimmer unpredictably as it rotated, explaining much of the strange flickering that had sparked the Fibonacci rumors earlier in the year. As those findings circulated, the tone of the discussion shifted. What had begun as whispers of secrecy evolved into something more profound, recognition of just how complex and dynamic interstellar debris can be. Every few years, a single object crosses our solar system and forces us to rewrite what we thought we knew about planetary formation. Oumuamua taught us that solid, inactive bodies exist beyond our star. Borisov showed that ice-rich comets can survive interstellar travel. And now 3i Atlas demonstrates that metallic, Carbon-bearing hybrids can not only endure, but remain volatile long after their journey begins. The new data also shed light on a deeper mystery. Why do interstellar visitors seem to appear more frequently now? 
The answer, scientists say, lies not in cosmic coincidence, but in technology. Instruments like the Vera Rubin Observatory and PanStars can now survey the entire sky nightly with sensitivity unimaginable a decade ago. These objects were always there. Only now do we have the eyes to see them. Meanwhile, Perseverance continued scanning the Martian sky for follow-up images. Though the comet was faint, its movement was still detectable, tracing a slow arc across the thin Martian atmosphere. Engineers used the data to refine its orbit, confirming that 3I Atlas would soon exit the inner solar system for good. Its closest point had already passed, and with each day, it moved farther from the sun, cooling and fading. As the flare subsided, Webb recorded a final spectrum before the object drifted beyond range. The emissions of carbon dioxide diminished, the anti-tail disappeared, the nickel lines weakened. The event was ending exactly as expected, a natural outburst from a fragment adjusting to the warmth of a new star. In the end, what scientists feared all along turned out to be far less dramatic, but far more meaningful. The fear was not of alien signals or hidden technology. It was the fear of misunderstanding, of allowing incomplete information to eclipse truth. When the public looks to space, Wonder and speculation often blur together, but science's role is to untangle them, to turn mystery into knowledge without stripping away awe. Dr. Watanabe reflected on that balance during a televised press conference. Every anomaly invites imagination, and that's good. Curiosity is how discovery begins, but the universe is already extraordinary without our embellishment. 3i Atlas isn't proof of fear. It's proof of connection. It's a fragment of another world that came close enough for us to see, to study, and to understand. Today, the data from that encounter filled terabytes of archives, spectra, light curves, temperature maps, polarization graphs. Together, they form the most complete portrait of an interstellar comet ever recorded. For planetary scientists, it's a once-in-a-generation benchmark. For the public, it's a reminder that reality can be as breathtaking as speculation. As 3i Atlas recedes toward the darkness between the stars, it leaves behind no secrets, only lessons. We've learned that metal-rich bodies can survive long interstellar journeys, that sunlight can awaken their buried chemistry, that even from Mars, our robotic explorers can contribute to interplanetary science in real time. Most of all, we've learned how easily absence, the quiet between data sets, can become a canvas for imagination. The universe doesn't hide its truths maliciously. It reveals them slowly, in light curves and spectra, in the shimmer of dust caught by another world's camera. The photos that sparked fear ultimately proved something beautiful, that knowledge, once illuminated, dispels mystery without erasing wonder. And somewhere, far beyond the orbit of Jupiter, 3i Atlas continues its journey. Fainter now, colder, still tumbling through sunlight it will never feel again. It carries no message, no hidden code, only the story of its origin, written in metal and ice. For a brief moment, that story intersected ours. We photographed it from two planets, traced its chemistry across wavelength, and learned just a little more about how the galaxy connects its scattered worlds. Perhaps that is what we truly feared all along, that the universe is stranger not because of secrets, but because of how vast, natural, and endlessly real it is.